what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is jay Anna. if this is your first time here and i thank y'all for joining me for another tutorial so today we will be doing part three of the beginner's guide to makeup so today we're going to be focusing on highlighting and contouring your face something that i have been practicing for a long time you know with makeup there's so many different techniques, so I finally figured out one that I really, really like and I really try to incorporate into my makeup routine recently. <laughs> so that's what we'll be doing. I'll teach y'all how to do that. Um, I'm excited. I'm very excited. This video is supposed to be and come out, but I've been like super duper busy at home, at work. It's like this. I got something to do every weekend and i feel like with this time of the year it's always something like you got birthdays you got graduations celebrations all that it's just so much going on but i'm glad i can produce this video today so let's get started with this video so before we do go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you are notified of my next upload and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up all righty let's get started with the tutorial i will see y'all in my next video so stay tuned. Alrighty, so before I show you all how to complete your highlight and contour, I like to do my brows and my eyes first before I complete my face. So I'm just gonna speed through that completely. you all came for highlight and contour why do we highlight why are we contouring what is the purpose of this well that's why i'm here <laughs> so the reason why you want to use the reason why you want to highlight your face highlighting your face is going to assist with lifting your face and also showing um a reflection of light so naturally in our faces there are spots where the light just hits it so what you'll see a lot of people do when they're highlighting their face is they'll do the following spots that i'm about to show you They'll highlight under their eyes. You'll have right here your cupid's bow, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, and then the chin. That's where the light is basically going to reflect on your face. And that's also where you can use the concealer to create an effect of lifting up your face. So if you have a round face like me and I have a really chubby face, I got fat cheeks. I blame it on my mama. <laughs> okay. But I have a really round face. So when I highlight my face and, and with the technique I'm going to show you today, it does lift up my face. It makes it look smaller, so to say. And you know, that's, that's why I love makeup. You, you could create the effect of that, you know, and especially with contouring, it, it just, it really helps with shaping it up your face. Now, I, we, I like to use concealer to highlight your face. Um, I like to use two different concealers. I like to layer it up. So the first concealer I like to use is one that is actually going to conceal my face. So a lot, most, most people, well, a lot of people deal with, you know, dark circles or dark spots or just uneven skin tone or discoloration in your skin tone. So using a concealer is going to conceal that out or cancel that out and just give you more of an even complexion. So I like to use a shade of concealer that is closest to my skin tone. Excuse me. And then I like to use a shade of concealer that is lighter than my skin tone. That's what's going to give you the highlighted look. So when you're picking out a concealer to highlight your face, I would like to recommend you use one as at least two shades lighter. So to begin with, I would use a lighter concealer. Well, honestly, to begin with, I probably use a concealer that is probably one shade lighter than me. If you're just beginning with makeup, if this is your first time touching makeup, you know, I would use a shade that is at least one shade lighter than me to give you that highlighted look. But I know that the trend now with makeup, we're looking really bright on the eyes. We're just extra 
highlight it. But as a beginner, I will start with at least a shade that's one or two shades lighter than your skin tone, or at least your foundation shade. And you also want to consider your undertone. Um, undertones are so important. We talked about this in the last video considering about your eyeshadow. Undertones are very important because you want to find something that is going to create a balance in your skin tone. Okay? You want to find a shade that is just going to give you just an even complexion. You know? So, there are three types of undertones to consider when picking out your concealer. There's warm, cool, and neutral. And in the warm, cool, and neutral category, there are other categories in those undertones. So when I'm mentioning a warm undertone, we are speaking about golden, yellow, or peachy undertones. So I have more of a golden undertone. So I stick to concealers that have that warmth in it. But I also can pull off neutral or, um, yeah, I can pull off neutral tones as well. It just... I really think it depends on the season, honestly. Like, I, f I feel like in the summer, I do want to look warm. I want to look yellowy. In the winter, I don't really care if I look yellow. I don't care if I look pale because even with my skin tone, you know, we, we get lighter in the winter and we kind of get darker in the summer. With the cool undertone, we are considering the pink, red, or a bluish undertone. Um, and I, some people don't think that that can happen in darker skin people, but it can. You know, none of us are the same color. That's, that's why it's so hard right there to find shades that match, you know? That's why so many of these brands come out with so many of these shades because you want to include everyone because not one person is the same color. It's so diverse on this earth, I'm telling you. And it's kind of hard to match that perfectly, you know? The next undertone is the neutral undertone. So this is a mixture of warm and cool. So like I said, I can pull off a neutral undertone. Well, at least I think I can. I, I think it looks pretty good on my skin tone. So you may be wondering, how do I find my undertone? Well, there are some things to consider. And one thing that I love to, want, there's, there's many factors to consider. Let me just start right there. But the main thing that really helped me with deciding my undertone was focusing on the color of my veins. So I'm focusing on the color of my veins. So right here in my wrist and the ones that surround your, your neck and your face, look at the color of those veins. So if you have blue veins, and I mean straight up blue veins, not a mixture of anything, that would make you more of a cool tone. So you want to stick in shades that are more cooler. If you have green veins, such as myself, they are green all the way. That means you're more of a warm tone. If you have a mixture of both, you can stick to neutral. So honestly, with a neutral tone, you could do either or. If you want to be warm one day, go ahead and be warm. You want to be cool one day, go be cool. You want to do a mixture of both, do a mixture of both. It's, it's, I really, I like the neutral undertone. I really do. It does, I think it looks really pretty. I, I like it a lot, even though I do I do have a warm skin tone. I have more of an olive skin tone. I do look yellowish, I do. I have that in my skin tone, but I do prefer a neutral skin tone most days. It looks very pretty. So now, finding your shade with concealer, it can be difficult, okay? Just like finding your shade with foundation. It can be difficult at first. See, one thing about makeup is trial and error, okay? You ain't gonna get it perfect the first try, but if you just keep trying again, you're eventually gonna get it and you're gonna learn to find things that you like, you know? So, you know, when I started, I mean, I couldn't pick out the correct foundation. It was either too light or either too dark, but I didn't give up, you know? I was like, you know, I'm gonna find this shade and I'm gonna finally wear makeup out in public and here I am now, you know, it takes, it takes some time. Nothing is going to be perfect when it comes to makeup. So don't don't even don't even think that way. Honey, you ain't perfect. None of us are perfect. So you will never find the perfect match. I don't care what these brands are promoting. There is no such thing as a perfect match because we all have flaws and imperfections. Physically, mentally, and emotionally, okay? So it's going to take you some time, but just you got to continue, you know, trial and error. You got to continue to find that color that you want. You know, I, I still mess up. I still mess up. I still 
can't pick out the correct concealer sometimes. They're just a little too light for my liking, you know? But it's the fact that I learn from my mistake and I just keep on going until I find something that I, I really love, you know? And with your foundation and your highlight and contour routine, you are gonna find something that you love and honey, once you do, you, you, you're not gonna wanna change it up, I'm, trust me. So now that we discussed highlighting, let's go on to contour. So with contour, when contouring your face, you basically are shaping your face. So have you ever seen those makeup transformation videos? Like uh, it's with the really like old, older white women, you know, with all the wrinkles and stuff. But once they carve out their face, they look like a totally different person. That's the power of makeup, okay? And that's the power of contour. So with your contour shade, you basically wanna treat it, when finding the tone, you wanna treat it just like you were with finding your concealer. Stick to your undertone. Um, I am going to be honest, I don't really contour a lot. I bronze. And many people confuse the two. Those are two separate things i will let you know now those are very separate things contouring and bronzing are not the same okay so don't let anybody tell you that they are because they're not with contouring you're shaping out your face you know i say you're trying to create features enhance and features trying to make trying to make things look smaller and more structured you know you want that sharp jawline or you want a really contoured nose that's where your contour is your contour shade is going to come in with. So with picking out your contour shade, you want it to be at least two shades darker than your skin tone and then stick to your skin tone as well. Contour can come in either a cream or it can come in a powder. Now, here's what I remember in the beginning. I was confusing contouring with bronzing because if they both can come in powder, you can blend it on your face and you can make it appear smaller. What's the difference? But yeah. So, here we go. So, with a powder contour, this is going to also aid with making things seem, with making your face seem smaller. But you may notice in some contour palettes that the contour is ashier or is gray looking. So, most makeup experts will recommend that you use a contour shade that is cool, that has a cool tone. That's where the difference is going to come in. With contour, you want to use a cool tone. With the bronzer, you want to use a warmer tone because when you're, excuse me, when you're bronzing up your skin, you're bringing warmth back into your skin. I hope that's making sense to you because I'm telling you, at first, I was like, what's the difference though? You know, because the way I was seeing it, people were still, you know, it seemed like to me they were contouring, but I recently learned that there's a difference. And once I was shown the difference, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. That does. But as a beginner, if you want to contour, uh, I probably would recommend using the cream one. Um, they say with the cream one, you can use this for drier skin people, such as myself. I don't think that's true. I think any skin tone can use contour, so... I mean, any skin type, so don't don't get to thinking that you can't use a contour stick. Um, it does help with giving you a, a, a luminous look. And I will say a cream contour really does help with that snatch look. It, it really does. It requires some blending now, but once you really shape out how you want your face to look, the cream contour really helps. So that's the basics. <laughs> That's the basics of highlighting and contouring. Um, I'm not a, a makeup expert, right? So I, I'm still learning things myself, but I can at least share the basics of what I've learned with it. Like I said, I don't really do too much contour like that. I, you know, I don't care if my nose looks small. I don't care if my jawline looks strong. I know my face is fat, ain't no need to add it, you feel me? So, let's get into it. So, this foundation, you see, I've been talking, my camera says 12 minutes, no creasing. This is why I love this foundation, and I still look glowy. So, let's move on to concealer. 
All right, so I figured I'd go into a voiceover because I can get in really great detail when I'm speaking over what I'm doing. So I'm just applying the concealer. So the way I apply the concealer is I will draw it in like the corner of my eye and a little bit on the side of my nose. And then I'll go to the edge of my eyeball, basically like cutting or cleaning up my eyeshadow, basically. And I'll create like a diagonal line going up. And then I place the concealer on my nose, the cupid's bow, um, the chin and then my forehead those areas specific areas are where the light is going to reflect the most and that's where the light is going to hit your face at so i i love applying my concealer this way i think it's very minimal so it doesn't i don't have to blend so much and it does help with lifting my face and just bringing the right amount of brightness to my face so I use a beauty blender to blend out my concealer compared to a sponge. I feel like I have more control with a beauty sponge and it just gives me more of a an even complexion. It gives, it helps me with giving more. So what I'm doing is blending up. Um, that's going to create that lifted effect. Just the same way that I place the concealer, I'm going to blend the concealer in the same direction. So now we're going to contour the face. So I usually do my forehead, my jawline, and then my jawbone. What really helps me getting that really structured or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Snatched look. I draw a three. So starting from my forehead to my jawline well to my cheeks and then to my jawbone and creating that three really helps give me that more structured look um and same thing with blending out the concealer i use a beauty blender to blend out my contour um i blend up with my cheeks and i blend upwards with my jawbone like i said we want more of a lifted snatch look and then on my forehead i just blend around i just blend out now if you have, I say like a bigger forehead, you probably want way more con um, contour than I do now. And that's gonna help create in a smaller effect with your forehead. And I also contour my nose. Usually I use a brush to draw out my contour with my nose, but I just use the applicator. Um, what I use, by the way, is the Juvia's Place Shade Stick in the shade Katsina. Um, so I usually use the, I use a brush to draw out my nose contour, but today I just use the applicator. And I really, I really do like a nose contour. I do. Um, I don't mind having a smaller looking nose. I just love the effect that it gives you. And I don't know. It's just, it's really cute to me. So now what I'm doing is baking. Y'all know I don't bake. <laughs> I do not bake at all. But when I do do a, like a really nice glam, like this one right here, I will carve out my jaw and then I'll bake my nose. That's gonna help with keeping the structure that I created, right? If I want a snatch jawline, draw baking basically is gonna keep it looking snatched. Um, one thing about it though, I don't keep the powder up there long because it can get dry and I can't get ashy. I'm gonna finish up this look with the lips. So I'll be using the BFF number four pencil by ColourPop. And this is the legit nude lip gloss by the Vanessa Collaboration through Juvia's Place. All right, and y'all, we have came down to the very end of this tutorial. I really hope y'all gain some knowledge i just want to keep it simple for you look makeup ain't got to be as difficult as some people make it it really doesn't like it it truly does not have to be as as difficult as some people can tend to make it makeup is fun okay and you you just need it's, it's enjoyable to me and i like teaching the little things that i do know but i also like showing what i can do and just proving that you know I ain't gotta be a supermodel to look flawless, you know? <laughs> so I really hope y'all gain some knowledge from this entire series. It was it was fun, but now it's time to just have fun and just put out this content that, you know, I, I enjoy. And you know, I do hope everybody else enjoys, but now it's just trying to have some fun. You know, it's with everything that we have been through, even, world-wise personal and personal wise it is time to enjoy life okay and i'm about to enjoy life and i'm about to enjoy something that i'm passionate about and it is this makeup so 
I hope y'all learned something and gained gain all the knowledge and education that you feel throughout the series. Like I always say, any questions, anything, I will reply. Okay? L literally, I'm like the fastest replier ever. Yeah, I am. I really am. Don't, don't let nobody tell you different. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it all down in the comment section below. Like, I, I want to know. I want to know. What, what do y'all want? What, what do you need? I can do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this series. I gotta post like a mini 60 second video on Instagram. So make sure I go check me out on Instagram and I might upload it to my TikTok as well. So I'm gonna leave those two somewhere right here. I'm gonna leave those right here so that y'all can so that y'all can go follow me and check me out on those platforms as well. But anyway, I'm not too much. Let's end this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Mwah.